Hey there, happy Wednesday. Uh, I just want to say, you know, welcome to another webisode, webisode <laughs> Wednesday. Um, it's the last one of the month. Um, and today I want to help you tackle an issue that I get asked about a lot. Um, <laughs> People going by, I think I'm crazy. Um, but anyways, I, you know, as engaged and involved people, uh, you know, we are usually, you know, traveling and eating out and jumping from one social event to another, uh, you know, wishing our best friend a happy birthday this weekend, and then, you know, going to our cousin's going away party the next weekend, um, you know, in, in one way, shape or form, we're always stepping out of our routine, right? Um, it's, it's, it's always something, something always comes up, right? So today I wanna to give you some ideas or a kind of surrounding how to stay on track um, with your food plan, even when you are uh, dealing with anything but a consistent schedule. So, you know, the only constant is change, right? So anyways, the golden rule is to first plan. So if you're going to a social event, you know, ask yourself or ask the people hosting it, you know, is it appropriate to bring food with you? Maybe it's a potluck or, you know, something like that. Um, if not, eat a meal beforehand, um, you know, before the event or bring a healthy snack with you, um, either something you can keep in your car, maybe you've got a cooler, maybe you don't need a cooler, um, maybe it's something you can pack in your bag, like a bar or something like that. Um, just something you can have on the ready, right? Um, also, make sure to drink plenty of water, especially if you are indulging in any adult beverages. This can be a game changer. I like to have the rule of having one glass of water in between each drink if I'm gonna do that. Um, also, quick tip about that too. Um, I also prefer if I'm having harder alcohol, I guess, to get a single tall drink. I don't know if you've ever done that or tried that before, but basically it's it's just a one shot, but in a 16 ounce glass instead of like a four to six or eight ounce glass that they typically put that in. So it increases the amount of water that you're actually getting. Um, what else do I want to tell you? So when you're traveling, you know, try to bring your own food or even fast. Um, I actually fasted on my last trip to Toronto, um, which was super helpful. Um, it was great because I not only, I didn't have to stress or worry about getting something healthy, um, but it also, I think, helped with my jet lag. I didn't have any jet lag at all, which was super awesome. Uh, and that was a three hour time change for me. So, um, also before getting to your destination, you know, check around um, the area. Is there a local Whole Foods? Is there a co-op? Is there a farmer's market that's going to be happening during that time? Just places where you can actually grab some really yummy, healthy food. Um, also, you know, call ahead. Make sure that your hotel or your Airbnb has a fridge, even, you know, just a mini fridge so you can kind of pack away some of those goodies. Um, and then if you're eating out, definitely utilize things like Yelp and TripAdvisor and those other apps where you can, you know, search for keywords, things like gluten-free or paleo or uh, farm-to-table or um, grass-fed, you know, any of those keywords can help you kind of find restaurants around your area that might be able to, uh, you know, comply with your needs. So um, also at restaurants, uh, keep your gaze kind of narrowed into the protein vegetable section. Try not to steer off of that area. Um, you know, if you opt for a salad, remember that you can always ask for olive oil and vinegar or just a slice of lemon instead of having any uh, questionable dressings. I know me personally, I'm very sensitive to oils and rancid oils. And so, um, you know, just making sure you're getting some olive oil, lemon, something like that really works. And then, you know, if you have a side, you know, say there's a side of fries or something else that is uh, served with your meal, just swap out those fries for the daily vegetable or maybe just a bed of greens or something like that. So just kind of those workarounds. Second, remember your purpose. So if you haven't written out your why, now is the perfect time to do it. You know, what's motivating you? What's fueling your desire to really elevate your health? Okay, are you 
physically, mentally, emotionally limited from doing something that you really want to experience? Do you want to be there for your kids or your grandkids? Um, are you preparing for pregnancy and, and you know, really focusing on preconception care at this time? Um, whatever your why is, you know, remember it because this is going to be your rock and your reminder, especially in your times of weakness, right? So. Uh, this could also be a really great thing to share with your pals or colleagues, uh, especially if they ask or notice, you know, why you're refraining from eating certain foods or bringing your own food or, uh, you know, not drinking alcohol or things like that. You know, share how well you've been feeling on your plan. Share how it's really changed uh, you for the better in on the physical, mental, emotional, spiritual realm, right? Um, and who knows, you know, this could just spark an awesome conversation. It could be the beginnings of a great friendship. Or you could just be planting some really awesome seeds and potentially save someone's life down the line, right? All right. So let's see. Lastly, don't be afraid to play. So, you know, don't take yourself too seriously. Seriously right? Uh, embrace the changes, you know, enjoy the flexibility. If you eat amazing 80 to 90 percent of the time, you know, and you, uh, you've got this one thing that's coming up and you want to let loose, then let loose. Uh, indulge a bit, free yourself from that shame and guilt and that negative self-talk. There's no point in feeling bad um, or getting down on yourself, right? If that doesn't, that doesn't really help anybody, right? Um, and if you make a decision, own it, all right? So I know that was kind of short and sweet today, um, but I hope that you got some good tips out of today's Webisode Wednesday. Uh, remember, plan, purpose, and play. And for more of my favorite tips, resources, strategies, and things like that, definitely check out my free six-week email series. I've got a link to that in the description, so just click on that, sign up, um, and I'll start sending you some awesome stuff. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next week.